There's some discussion going on about whether you can open your native AI files in Affinity or not. So to make this short, you can't. But then you might ask, well, why does this work? Why do you get it? To answer that, we need to take a look at the Illustrator file format and figure out something. So let's switch to Illustrator and let's open the same file. And now I'm going to save as. And then we select the folder and I'm going to set a different name for this. And let's make sure it's this one here, which is the native file format. But then we come to the options. And here's where it gets important because we have this option here. It's turned on by default, so most of the time people don't turn it off, but sometimes you do. One reason for that is it makes the file quite huge. And there's a reason for that. You might know that you need to turn this on in order to be able to place your file in InDesign or any other layout app. So what does this do? So this option makes Illustrator save a second file into your AI file. So the AI file is the native part and then there's a full PDF inside of that, which is non-native. So essentially your AI file is native and non-native at the same time. Let's turn it off. So now we have this file here, which is now a truly native file because it doesn't have that PDF part. Let's now switch to Affinity and try to open that. I'm going to open and select this one here and open that. And you see, this doesn't look quite as nice. And probably you have seen that text before. It just tells us that we need to turn this on in order to get some PDF inside of that. And the PDF part is what Affinity opens. This has nothing to do with being outside of Adobe or something. When we do the same in InDesign and try to place this, so let's take this and place it. Then you see we get the same thing. Or if I'm going to Acrobat and open the file, I need to show all files and then I'm able to do that. So let's open that and you see I get the same. So it has nothing to do with being inside or outside the Adobe ecosystem. It's just about the create PDF compatible file option. Only when you turn on that, you are able to use or place or open the AI file outside of Illustrator.